Hey, 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 what is up, guys? Alf27HD here, bringing you another Team of the Year player review. We're at the centre mid, stroke centre defensive mid position, and we are looking at Zabi Alonso for Real Madrid. So there he is, guys, in all his glory. Big standout stats, 93 passing, 87 defence. Obviously, he's got the 72 heading, 76 dribbling, 62 pace, and 79 shot. So that is the card, guys. Playing him in a 4-1-2-1-2 formation at centre, defensive, mid. As you can see, I have his non-informed card sat next to him. Exactly the same formation. As you can see, the big gains on there. Massive gains in terms of pace, uh, passing, sorry. Big gains in terms of dribbling. In fact, 87 it's you know talking to plus six on the defense a plus five on the passing just real big gains that is what these uh, team of the year cards are all about massive hikes up in uh, in terms of points for different positions you know the likes of you know standing tackles all that sort of stuff gets a really large boost when you normally get an inform to give you an idea they get very small gains you know maybe their shooting goes up one or two points their passing goes up a couple of points their defense might stay static um it doesn't happen with team of the years they go up in leaps and bounds and they are significantly higher than normal the team i'm playing them in is this guys as you can see, we've got uh, some non-informed cards up there. And we've also got the informed Fabregas. Obviously, the team of the year back five. And at first, I hated him. I I really, really did not like Alonso. I borrowed him off Proax and I tried him. Um, the four defenders are mine, by the way. The goalkeeper and uh, Alonso are Proaxes. And I tried him and I tried to use him. And I hated him and I couldn't get him to work and his passing seemed sloppy and his movement was sluggish. He felt imprecise. It was frustrating, guys. Really, really frustrating. And then I basically decided, you know what I want to do? I'm going to have a look at his in-game stats. I'm going to see what makes this guy tick, where his good points are, where his bad points are, and see if I can find out why I am struggling in this way. So let's have a look at his in-game stats, guys. He's got talking... Uh, Let's have a look, move our way down, there we go, Alonso, 94 ball control, 91 free kick accuracy, 99 long pass, these are the stats that stood out to me, 90 long long pass, 95 short pass, 94 shot power, 90 standing tackle, he is perfect as a CDM for his standing tackle, he's also got some good stuff going forward, let down slightly, by his four star week, four star week for but his two star skills, two star skills is a bit of a let down guys, but as you can see there, medium attacking work rate, high defensive work rate, that is very good stats in a CDM. It means that he will work his way back, he will give cover to the centre-backs, to the right-back, to the left-back, to the goalkeeper, but he will also push forward a little bit when needed. And as you can see there, really, really good, solid defensive stats, but also good going forward. But his passing ability on there was fantastic. So what I did, guys, in-game, I slowed things up a bit. And I started to make passes and put stuff together. I'm going to show you some fantastic passes, some fantastic blocks. Give you an idea of what makes Alonso tick. And some wonderful dribbling. And also he scored some very, very nice goals for me. He isn't the quickest player, that's for sure. Um, and I wasn't that impressed with him initially. But as I've said, he started coming to the look at that for a pass. If you want, if you want to go back and rewind that, have a look. But that is the most fantastic crisp pass you'll ever see. Look at that for a nice solid tackle, and still manages to get the slide tackle in and clear the ball up the pitch, and instantly we're on the attack. Here is Alonso again. I tried slow dribbling, just taking my time with him, working away. As you can see, no pass in there, and then just a beautiful weighted pass takes the pressure off and bisects, dissects, dissects, cuts out. Fucking, there you go, Cesc Fabregas sets him up, all done by Alonso, work rate done by Alonso, steals the ball there, goes on a little bit of his jaunt, and he's just, he's a really nice player to use. Is he worth the money? No, he's not worth the money, he's not worth, what's he going for now? 400, something like that, he's not worth it, 500, I, <sighs> I like his non-inform, I think I've said it, um, I like his non-inform, and he does a job in the team. I'm not a big fan of centre defensive mids. I don't see the point in spending a fortune on them. Yes, they're nice as cover, but the centre backs tend to do all the big blocks, the big hard work. Nice header on him here. Boom, beats the defender. No problem at all. Towers above him and gets a nice header in there. I think this is a nice goal as well. But for me, his non informed does a very good job. That's that shot power. Nice shot power. Nice control. Nice goal. Uh, for me, the non informed does a good job. 
he plays a role, he does a good job, and he's, what, 15k, 10k, something like that, why pay 400k, 500k more when you could pick up his non-inform, who does a very good job, and he's the one team of the year player that I didn't see massive benefits over and above his non-inform, um, the others I saw, even Ronaldo, his, obviously Ronaldo's team of the year card, it shows strides above his non-inform, and I can understand why people would pay the difference, Alonso, I didn't, genuinely didn't, and it's a shame, because he has his moments like that, you know, works his way around, gets a bit of space and puts it in the back of the net. But for me, he wasn't my favourite player by far. And I'm only going to give him a 7 out of 10, guys. I'm not giving him any more than a 7. I didn't see any vast improvements over his non-inform. Everything that he does, his non-inform could do. He's got excellent passing. He can pick out some deadly passes, but also some of his passes were a bit sloppy. But excellent passing on him on his day. Very good defensively, getting those blocks in, getting those tackles in, prepared to put his body on the line to block the ball. I enjoyed that. Good shot on him, but needs time to get into position, so be aware of that. But ultimately, a little bit slow, a little bit sluggish. Two-star skills just put me off slightly, guys, and that is why Alonso is only getting a 7 from me. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review. Please like, sub, comment, take care, peace, love, and catch you.